One of the main troubleshooting issues that people have with OBS Studio is dropping frames. Now, when you have a video file, that video file is made up of hundreds of thousands of different frames. Imagine you have a very short 10 second video and this 10 second video is made up of hundreds of still images put one against the other to create a consecutive still image video, essentially. It's like it's almost like a freeze capture, but you are making a video from still images. These are called frames. And when you skip frames in your stream, your stream will start to look laggy and lower quality to your viewers. So it's important that we get consistent, stable frame rate on your stream. And there's a couple of things that you can do to make sure that your frame rate stays consistent and stable. If we go into settings on OBS Studio and go to output, this is your video bitrate, the amount of information that we are sending to the streaming software every second. And at the moment, it's on 2,500 kilobytes per second. An average bitrate for a 1080p stream would be around 3,600 or even 4,000 kilobytes per second. An average bitrate for a 4K stream around 6,000, 7,000. So if you are having frame issues, you can consider dropping that. Yes, it does mean that there will potentially be a slight loss in quality in the resolution of your video, but in my experience and in many people's experience, the frame rate is far more important than the actual resolution quality of your stream. If you've got choppy frames or you're dropping frames, people will be more likely to click away than if you have just a generically slightly lesser resolution on your stream. So reduce that bitrate. If you are a 1080p streamer, I would not consider reducing it any lower than 2,500. Um, otherwise, you are going to start to see boxes and pixelation appear on your stream, which is not what anybody wants. Now, on the topic of bitrate, there is actually a new feature in OBS Studio in the advanced settings that we can click to make sure that these frame rates don't happen. If you go to advanced here and then you scroll down, you find the network submenu, you will see dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. Now, this is a beta feature, which means that it has been ch uh, checked and tested less than all of the other features of OBS Studio. But what it will do is it will detect when there are limits to your internet connection and it will automatically lower your bit rate to reduce the amount of frames dropped. This is a really great feature. At the moment, it's in beta. I've never had an issue using it, but it, it can, because of the lack of testing, potentially lead to your OBS crashing. I've never had it, but I've read people having mentioned it in forums that it does happen. Um, I would check this on if you're having frame rate issues. It can only help you and uh, help to improve the stability of your stream. What other things can we do if you are dropping frames? Well, one of the main things I would suggest is to make sure that you are not playing, if you're playing games, that is, if you're playing games, make sure you're playing at the same resolution, uh, sorry, at the same frame rate as you are streaming. So for example, if you're streaming in 60 FPS, I wouldn't recommend stream or playing your game in any higher than 60 FPS. There's a lot of people on really good mach machines who play games at 120, 160 FPS and stream at 60. But that is a lot of stress on your computer. I would recommend streaming and gaming at the same frame rate. So if you can only stream at 30, play at 30. If you can only stream at 60, play at 60 FPS. You shouldn't need more than 60 in-game anyway, unless you're like super, super high level uh, gamer in like a, an FPS like... Um, COD or, or even Fortnite or something like that. Stream at the same frame rate that you game at. And that should help you with your frame rate issues. One other thing I would suggest to check is your internet speed. Now, your internet speed basically determines how much information you can upload and download from the internet at any given time. And if your internet speed isn't fast enough to handle these uploads and downloads, then there will be frame drops, there will be even resolution drops as well. So you need to make sure that you have a fast enough internet connection to be able to perform these processes. For an upload speed, I'd recommend a minimum of seven megabytes per second and a download speed, a minimum of 30 megabytes per second. Your upload speed is the really important one here. 
Ideally, you would have an upload speed of around 20 megabytes per second, but if not, I'd say minimum seven megabytes per second. You can go to Ookla Speed Test. That's on Google. If you just search, I'll type it on the middle of the screen here. Uh, let's do that, and we'll go. Just search Ookla Speed Test test on Google and this will come up with a free super simple to use speed test for you to be able to check your internet. If it is not up to speed unfortunately the only thing you're going to be able to do is call up your internet provider and see if you can get that boosted. Without a fast internet it's just not possible to stream. It's it's uh, absolutely mandatory to have a, a compulsory to have a fast internet speed and there you go using those fixes should be able to get your frames back online hopefully you are good to go and having some good stable streams